Hi, thanks for choosing Chison product. Today we will give you a 4D training with Chison Q5 and the Phantom. Before we start the 4D training, let's talk a little bit about what is 4D ultrasound. 4D ultrasound uses the same technology as the conventional 2D ultrasound that everybody is familiar with. It allows to see the baby in three dimensions and see the movements taking place in the womb. Different from the 2D scanning, a successful 4D scanning based on three key points. Fetal gestational age should be around 6 to 7 months. Fetal position should face outside and enough amniotic fluid. Check the three key points here. Okay, let's get started. In order to get a good 4D image, first of all, we must have a good 2D image. Let's do it. Press the probe key to go back to the probe selection screen. We get all the presets here. Choose the 4D probe, OB application, mid-pregnancy, and default mode. Click the Enter key twice. Start the B mode. Take the 4D probe. Find the mark here. Point to the patient head side. Make sure that fetal head is on the right side of the screen. Usually, when you are in the B mode, you will get the sagittal plane, coronal plane, and X plane. The best place to get the good 4D image is sagittal plane. So you need to find the sagittal plane like this image. But if you are in the coronal plane like this image, you need to move the probe like this to find the sagittal plane. Here are some typical coronal planes and how to switch to the sagittal plane from the coronal plane. If you are in the X plane like this image, you need to rotate the probe like this to get the sagittal plane. Here are some typical X planes and how to switch to the sagittal plane from the X plane. If you are not in the standard sagittal plane, just adjust your probe position slowly to get the standard one. Check the different sagittal section here and how to switch to the standard sagittal plane. When you get the standard sagittal plane, the 2D image preparation work is ready. After getting the sagittal plane, hold the probe. Press the 4D key. Use the Enter key and the track ball to adjust the size of the interesting box and move it to the right position. The size of the interesting box should be appropriate, not too small, not too large. Move it to contain the whole fetal head. Then press the Live key to enter into the 4D mode. A few seconds later, after the 4D image comes out, press the Freeze key. Now you get the 4D image. After you get the freeze 4D image, you can edit the image to make it better. Rotate this knob to change the threshold value can help you to make the fetal structure sharper. Use the trackball and enter key to set the bounce and pulse value to change the brightness and the contrast. Rotate the C key, D key, M key. Can adjust the direction of the image, make the baby face to you. There are some other interesting features. 
For example, if there's a presenter in front of the feature face, we have the volume of image function to remove it. Rotate this key to open this function. Besides, we have the easy cut function. Press the change key to turn on the cut function. Choose the cut method as you want. Use the set key and the trackball to cut the part which you don't need. Now you get a good 4D image here. After you get the good 4D image, you can take out the images. Use the trackball to choose the 140 image only. Then press the save key. We have a lot of format here. If you choose one frame, there will be an image here. If you choose 4D AVI, there will be a movie here. Please wait a few seconds. After that, choose the image you want to copy. Press the update key to turn on the copy function. Use the trackball and enter key to choose the export item. Enter into the copy function. Connect the USB to the system. Choose the Lumbo device. Lumbo device again and choose the different image format. What suggests you choose JPG. If you want to copy a movie, press the Save 2D scene, then press OK. Then you will get it done. OK, hope this video can help you to get a good 4D image. If you still have any questions, please contact us by either email or telephone. Goodbye.